Good day everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into something really exciting for SQL developers. How to configure Copilot in SQL Server Management Studio version 21 using an Azure OpenAI API key. This is a step-by-step -step guide where I will walk you through the complete setup process from installing the Copilot extension all the way to securely connecting it with your Azure OpenAI service. So you can start leveraging the power of AI right inside SSMS. Whether you are writing complex queries or just looking to boost your productivity, this Copilot integration is a real game changer for SQL professionals. So stick around till the end and by the time we are done, you will have Copilot up and running in your SSMS environment. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on future videos packed with practical SQL Server and Azure content. All right, let's jump right in. We will need the, the SQL Server Management Studio version 21 already installed with the AI component. Yeah. So if you have questions or uh, if you want to know how to install that, I have uh, previous videos where I will be um, um, installing SQL uh, Management Studio version 21 using um, uh, offline and online method. You can go through it and uh, I have clearly explained how you need to uh, enable AI so that you will be seeing this um, co-pilot um, option in your SSMS. So you can look at my previous videos to uh, get more details on that. Yeah. So now in order to configure um, uh, co-pilot, uh, if you look at um, the information here, we need three things. Yeah. The first one is Azure OpenAI endpoint. Second one is OpenAI deployment and then the OpenAI API key. Yeah. So in order to get these things, what we need to do is like we need to head to our uh, Azure portal and then uh, search for uh, Azure OpenAI service. So if you uh, search for Azure uh, OpenAI service, you will be able to see this. You just need to click on that and then click on create. Select your appropriate subscription. Um, I've uh, used the uh, appropriate uh, resource group. Uh, I'm using East US as a region. I've provided uh, the required name and the pricing tier I've selected is standard S0. Yeah. As far as network is concerned, I will be fine with all networks. Yeah. And then I don't have any tags. If you want, you can provide that. And then let's uh, uh, create it uh, once uh, the validation is complete. Let's uh, wait for this uh, service to get deployed and then we will take it from there. Okay, so the deployment is completed. Let's uh, go to that service. So we have this service, JBAI uh, SSMS Copilot. So now what we'll do is like, uh, first thing to note is like, uh, you, you have an endpoint here, click on that. We will uh, need the endpoint here, yeah. And also one of the keys here, since we are uh, going to use uh, OpenAI API key, we will be using uh, one of the key here. Let's go back to the overview here and then um, click on um, go to Azure AI Foundry Portal. Yeah. First thing first on the Azure AI Foundry Portal, you need to make sure like uh, you have selected um, the correct um, uh, OpenAI service here. Yeah, in my case, it is correct. It is JBAI SSMS hyphen copilot. You ensure that you have selected the right uh, OpenAI service here. Okay, after that, click on deployment here. Yeah, and then you have this option uh, called uh, deploy model. Click on that, and then you need to select uh, deploy base model. Yeah. Search for uh, GPT 4.0 and uh, you will be able to see this one called uh, GPT 4.0 chat completion. Click on that. Please note that uh, GPT 4.0 is the only model uh, supported during the preview. There might be uh, other things after um, uh, it goes to uh, general availability, but as of now, uh, this is the only one that is uh, supported uh, during the preview. Click on uh, confirm. And then uh, here 
what we need to do is like we need to uh, uh, select the required things here yeah before that let's do this one let's click on this customize here yeah and then let's uh, name this as um, uh, whatever uh, name is appropriate for us in my case I will uh, name it as uh, uh, JB AI as SMS hyphen copilot hyphen deployment yeah just to make sure like uh, the name is clear and uh, we have this uh, deployment type this is something that is very very critical yeah so you need to select uh, as appropriate uh, uh, to your uh, system yeah so if you look at this one global standard yeah what it basically tells is like paper api call with the highest rate limit yeah data might be processed globally outside of uh, uh, resource uh, Azure geography. So this is something that you need to look at um, before deploying the things. Yeah, for me, it's a demo. So I'm going to go ahead with uh, global standard. Just to give you another example, if you look at the standard here, it basically tells like pay per API call with lower rate limits. Yeah, and uh, it adheres to Azure data residency promises, best for intermittent uh, workloads with low to medium volume so just make sure like uh, how the data is getting processed look at each and everything here and select whatever is appropriate for you for me global standard is okay yeah and then what i'm uh, going to do is like uh, you need to make sure like the model version is unchanged it has to be like uh, uh, 2011 2024 and also what i'm going to do is like i'm going to increase the tokens per minute yeah increasing this tokens per minute can um, uh, lead to uh, uh, more cost yeah uh, but in my case i'm fine with that i'm uh, increasing that and let's click on deploy here Let's wait for it, the deployment to complete and we will take it from there. Okay, so the deployment is completed. Yeah, if you see here, we have uh, uh, the model here. So what I need to do is like, I need to copy this name here. Yeah, and then keep it in a safe place so that I can uh, integrate this into my SSMS. Let's open our uh, SSMS, yeah. Let's click on uh, Copilot. Now what we need is like, we need this um, Azure OpenAI endpoint and then the API key first. So what we'll do is like, let's uh, head to our um, uh, Azure portal for the Azure OpenAI service and let's click on this uh, uh, endpoints here. So let's first copy the endpoint and then let's uh, paste that. And then now we need the uh, key so I'm going to copy the key one here let's paste that now I need the uh, open AI deployment so let's copy that as well and then let's go to the SSMS again let's paste that yeah so if you see here we have the endpoint we have the deployment name and then we have the API key so let's click on launch copilot and if you see here, we were able to successfully uh, integrate uh, Copilot with our SSMS. Let's ask some question. Uh, let me check how can it help me. And then let's see uh, what reply we will get here. So it basically tells like uh, I can assist you with a wide range of SQL related tasks, query assistance, database analysis. So these are the things that it can help us. So now what we'll do is like uh, we will try um, uh, uh, requesting for a query from the copilot and see uh, if it can help us. Okay, so I'm going to ask, can you join tables uh, customer and customer address on customer ID and return the full name. Let's see what happens. So we have uh, requested that info. So it's processing right now. And uh, if you see here, it basically um, executed the required query uh, for this and then it uh, gave us the info. Yep, so now if you see here, we have this uh, TSQL. Let's copy that and then let's try executing it. Yep, if you see here, it has uh, written all the full names here. So this way, uh, what we can do is like in uh, simple English, we can provide the required um, 
uh, instruction to copilot and then we can get uh, more details like for example if you wanted to uh, write the query or if you require any other assistance then you can uh, uh, request that from copilot and then get it so what i'm going to do is like uh, in my next video i'm going to use uh, um, the um, uh, microsoft ontra authentication and then try integrating uh, um, the copilot with uh, ssms so right now we use the uh, open ai api key but what i want is like um, i just want to uh, utilize the uh, microsoft ontra authentication and then try integrating it so just to uh, make sure like we are uh, more secured on that way yep so uh, once um, that one that video is completed i will be creating more videos on uh, copilot with ssms wherein we will uh, try checking each and every functionality and see what all copilot can do and then we will take it from there that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind